Dahlia is now a Category 1 hurricane. It is expected to be a Category 2 by 8 o'clock tonight and make landfall on Florida's west coast tomorrow morning. The big concern with this hurricane is the storm surge. The Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is live in Tampa, where flooding, of course, is a major concern today. How are things looking right now, Mike? Oh, so far so good, uh, but we're in the early stages. We had our first tropical squall about uh, two hours ago, and we had wind gusts to 40. The rain came down. The water came around the seawall from Tampa Bay into here, and it's just going to sit here for now. You're looking out to the south towards the uh, 275 Skyway Bridge. We can see it now, but everything's coming in that direction. Uh, the crux of the matter is, Fortunately, we're not going to take a direct hit here in Tampa. The center of the Dahlia is going to go to our west tonight. Once it goes to our west, though, the winds are going to come around to the southwest, and that's going to pile the water up in Tampa Bay. There's a lot of nooks and crannies, and that's why we have a storm surge warning for four to seven feet of surge. Uh, that certainly is a very high water level here in Tampa, and they've been very fortunate with Ian and then with Charlie. Uh, they both um, made turns before uh, they got up this far. So we got the storm surge warning, the hurricane warning, and that storm surge warning will continue because the winds are going to stay southwest for a while, even though the center of the Dahlia is going to make landfall tomorrow morning up in the Big Bend, head towards Jacksonville, and bring the risk of flooding rains in the parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, back here right now, just some light rain showers. Schools are closed today and tomorrow. Also, Tampa International, they closed, uh, they canceled every flight today, all 400. And tomorrow, they've already canceled over 80% other schedule. The real uh, big news here is how bad the surge could be up in the Big Bend, the concave area of Florida. Very low, shallow water, susceptible to surge. And guys, it could be as high as 10 to 15 feet, and that is certainly deadly and life threatening. So evacuations have been underway since yesterday for those coastal areas from there, even down to here where we are. This area is zone A, and that's been evacuated ahead of the hurricane. All right, Mike, please stay safe down there, and we appreciate your coverage. Thank you. Thanks.